Hello everyone, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. In this episode, we will finally get to the point where we can move our old smelting operations to their final positions. And other than that, we will try to sort out our farming issues around corn. We will try to make sure that the animal farms are kept in working order so we can have eggs for the people to eat. We will also do a little bit of landscaping. And other than that, it will be pretty much as business as usual. So yeah, I think it is time to get into it. And we're back. Let's get the game going. So, as if you remember, in the last episode, we have been struggling with making enough hydrogen. And we did just upgrade the oil rig to level 6. Uh, I think it is all down to the actual incoming amount of crude oil. I think one upgrade will be enough, but you know, just in case I will do it one more time. We have plenty of construction parts, so we should be able to do it. So let's start loading the ship. Let's call... Uh, before we call it home, let's take care of this node before we do so. After that, we can come home and load up the 600 units of construction parts, and then we should be able to have enough crude oil. Uh, next up, yeah, this situation. Uh, just like I do it most of the time, I kept the game running a little bit after the recording, and I think we will have too many chickens to actually keep up with the animal feed. So I think I will put back the corn growing in every single farm. Let's make sure everyone is on the same page. So the ship is in battle, it should be just fine. Yeah, that's it. We have come out on skate. And we have a couple of extra nodes that we have discovered. And two of those are caches. Yeah, I think one of these have to be the canola seeds at this point. Maybe this one, but I think this is uh, too high level for that. So anyways. How uh, is this one? Yeah, it is downloading. Um, yeah, let's just cancel the repair. And I will send the ship out. So, once again, cancel. There we go. Wait. Start loading the ship. And cancel repairs. There we go. Deliver the cargo, please. You can repair after we, you got back home. Uh, after that, by the way, can we tell the main ship to be hydrogen fueled? I wonder. I will check out once it gets back home. So it has delivered the cargo. I will send it out to this location, I suppose. And once this place has been upgraded one more time, I will feed it with some extra workers and hopefully that will take care of our hydrogen issues. There we go. Eight times the extraction capacity, and that should be all right. Okay. Let's see what we can do next. Let's see. Hydrogen storage. So, yeah. Hopefully, at this point, the hydrogen will start bouncing back. Uh, the mine control tower has no place. Yeah, okay. So, this digging has been finished. I think I will set up a... Oh, we cannot flip this for some reason. That's fine. Anyways, this battle should be a cakewalk. Yeah, it was easy enough. And finally, we have the Colombo seeds. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, I will... Yeah, I will stop everything and I want to get rid of it. And that should be all right. Okay, after that, I think I will focus on the glass making so we can replace the old one. Mm, tank fuel upgrade would be nice as well. 
So we can upgrade the ship bridge and the tank, uh, fuel tank. Anything else? Yeah, at this point, everything else is going to be randomly selected. Yeah, this should be all right. Okay, so the ship is back. It will be, uh, let me see. Yeah, it will on it managed to unload. We already have everything upgraded, so okay, we are all right. All right, can we use hydrogen? No, I think only diesel is available as fuel for the main ship. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so I was about to do this place. I would like to build a second ramp. First, let's make sure that we do the designations. So I know where the edge is. It's going to be right here. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Let's make sure that we don't dump. We are, I just want to see the designation so I know where to put this one. So you go down all the way this far. Yeah. And after that, we will simply place in the corner and then we can do the actual walls. Oh, no, wait, we need one more single piece and then we can do the walls. Just like this, all the way down. Just like this. Um, I think I will bring it out at least this far. And then later on, we will decide what to do with this area. I think this mountain is going to be leveled down in the future. Yeah. For now, uh, let's just unpause this and it will get built. We might have to move the vehicles depot, but hmm, it's going to be all right. Okay. So at this point, we should have enough construction parts to actually do the smelting upgrade just in case i think i will build up the tier two parts as well maybe even the tier ones yeah before we get to that point let me just make sure that these places are set up correctly so you know what so let me see this is the iron i believe yes it is so make sure that this one is set to deal with the iron and if you don't mind i think i will go ahead and instead of feeding these with belts i will feed them straight from the sorting plant so it is general or buildings metallurgy Let's see, where is it? Waste management. No, oh, that's a waste sorting plant. Where is the sorting plant? No, it's not underwater, of course. We have so many buildings at this point that things get lost. Let me see. I know I can just copy it, but I want to find it. Vehicles, maybe. Yeah, there we go. It was right because we have so many buildings. I have to scroll and it got lost. So anyways, um, I will not place a single sorting plant because we have learned our lesson with the coal previously. I want to make sure that we have the throughput. So I will place two of these, one here, flip it, and another one here. Just to keep them centered, I will move this one over by one. And I think, let me just check on the other sorting plants. So we want to use this output, and that is A. So we want to make sure that we are using port A 
for the sorting. So this is for the iron. So in comes the iron, the rock and the dirt. And the iron should be coming out from this port. Okay, let me just copy paste the settings. There we go. And all we have to do now is hook our things up. Hmm, tier 2 conveyor bus should be alright. Yeah. Now we can see the outputs. So this is correct. I think I will leave the dirt and the rock up to the trucks. Once again, it should be alright. Let me just copy paste this whole thing and I will put it on the steel smelting. That will take care of that. I will copy paste it once again. We just have to change out. Oh, wait. It seems the copper doesn't have the crusher. That's easily fixed. There we go. But not iron, but copper, please. Tier 2 con U shaped goes. Okay, collision with terrain. That means that we have to move this place over a little bit. Um, any free area we can use. Yeah, I suppose this one will be just fine. So once again, U-shape conveyor belt tier 2 feeds into this storage just like this. And we will copy paste the sorters. Let me guess. Oh, we can place it. Fine. Okay, so you will do the copper ore, please. Yeah, port A. You the same. Port A. Yes, that's correct. Let me just double check. Yeah, it should be fine. All right. Once the tier three construction port you can see on the outliner gets full, we should be starting to fill up the construction parts tools. Uh, I think maybe 500 is going to be the threshold on where we will start uh, the migration to the final positions for these matters. Can you please focus on dirt? Having stone is all nice and good, but I want to get rid of the dirt most of all. Okay. Mm. The tree farm is looking a little bit too barren for my liking. And yeah, we are using way too much wood at this point. How far can, can we extend the forestry area? So edit the area. Let's make sure that we have the layers enabled so I can see the grid. So we can go out this far. Basically, we can do one more tile. Okay, pause. Let's edit again. We are going to use this tile basically. And we will go out this far. It's not exactly the biggest addition to the forestry area, but I suppose it will have to do. So foresting Foresting here as well. I think that should increase it enough to... Well, basically, once we have the construction parts all filled up, we will be alright. So I'm not all that worried. I just, you know, want to make sure that we have enough. Anyways, now that this place is dug out, I think I will set up a dumping designation in this little mm, valley or channel. Yeah, let's call it the channel. So all we have to do is set up dumping here. Now, as things get dumped in here, there will be a little bit of a spillover into this area. But once it is dug back out, it will all come together. Uh, at least it did in my tests. In the meantime, 
Yeah, I think I will go ahead and move the area one more time. Yeah, here should be okay. Let's just bring it out all the way until here. And we can set up a bit of mining in this area. There we go. That should keep the excavator busy. Also, we can set up some dumping like this. Okay. Uh, might be a little bit problematic with the actual... Let me see. If we do this... I think they will also come together more or less in the end. Uh, maybe not. All we have to do is leave these places alone for now. Let's make sure the ramp is clear. And yeah, once uh, everything else is finished, we will mine out these corners without the dumping designations. And after that, we will put back the dumping designations and that should fix everything. It will basically have a little bit of a slope you can see right here but i think i can live with that or maybe even dig out this corner and leave the ramp with a bit of a dip right next to the wall i think that's going to be all right anyways canola seeds have been researched that's great that means we have the sugar canes in the queue next. If I have to guess, it will be under here. Yeah, let's check it out. All right, what's next? How is the food situation? Yeah, animal feed is struggling. Now we have a choice to make. We either build more farms or we make sure that corn gets to the town last after the animal feed. Let's see how we cope with that arrangement first. So priority three will be the town and priority two will be this one. Let's see how we deal with the situation that way. It will actually impact the potato consumption in the town, but I think it might be all right. So anyways, corn will be taken for animal feed before the town and that will be the test next. So what can we do next? The construction parts. Okay, I think the tier trees are pretty much full. Yes, this belt should start backing up soon. Oh, wait, first this one has to be filled up. No, wait. Yeah, this is the tier 3, so yeah, this one is backed up. Yeah, the tier 2 should be backing up fairly soon. It's just a matter of time. So this battle is finished, location explored, and it, yeah, it was the sugar cane. Perfect. Let me just check. Yeah, I think I will just simply put it into the queue at the end and that's going to be fine. Now, next I want to discover the nuclear reactors, if we can. Where could they be? I suppose this is a candidate. Once the ship is ready, I will send it out. The sand looks very healthy at this point, so doing that mega excavator for the sand pit was very beneficial. Hmm. It is lacking. Let me guess. No saplings. 
Yeah, I think there's no more saplings in this farm. Well, I suppose we can upgrade it to a greenhouse. So let me see, 3.5 right now. If we upgrade, let's just bring it up. So 3.5 right now. If we upgrade it, it should increase the overall production. Okay, ship was fully repaired. Thank you. Let's send it out for this one. With the upgrade armor, we should be all right. Okay, it is upgrading very slowly, so I will come back to it later. How is the tier 2 production of construction parts? It's still not backing up. Yeah, it will take some time because these guys also have an internal storage, so that one has to be filled up too. Plus we are upgrading to tier 3. Yeah, this bat will have to be filled up too. Let me see, what do we need in terms of tier 2 construction parts in these guys? So this is tier 1, this is tier 3, tier 3. We only need it for the casters and those are only 40. Also, let's check out this battle. It was a little bit more costly than I would like, but we got out in the end. So let's see what we have discovered. It was poppy seeds. Not what I was looking for. But I suppose it's better than nothing. Yeah, we will just go have to go and check out every single node that we have and let's see where they lead. Okay. So how do we do the upgrade? I think the first thing we need to do is actually move the water pipe because it is in the way at the moment. Uh, let's see. I think I will set it up close to this mountain so it is well out of the way of the smarters. I might even be go up a little bit around here. Yeah, of course we are going to use tier 3 pipes up on level 3. I will keep this one at level as long as possible. There we go. Can we keep on the level a little bit longer? Yeah, this is as far as we can take it. So how far can we go like this until here? Then we have to go up again. Okay. That should be all right. Let's just make sure that we are keeping level in a longer segment so it doesn't look so, I don't know, forced, I suppose. Yeah, I think at this point we are going to be on the level all the way to the end. So where do we hook it up? It's going to be right here. We have a bit of a bump again, so we need to come down here, go over the bump. And we can come up again. And we are almost ready there we go we can feed into this pipe oh right since we are feeding back into the same pipe network we will have to terminate this pipe right here i will quick build it that took off a little bit of tier 3 but that's fine we just severed this pipe here and hook these two together just like this yeah, the pillars are a little bit too crowded, but you know what? Yeah, let's just fix it. There we go. And quick uh, build it once again. 
Okay, at this point, this pipe can go away. This will also give us quite a bit of tier 2 construction parts. And at this point, we might as well upgrade every single pipe in this network. Yes, please, tier 3. Uh, this one as well. In fact, I will check how much of this we can upgrade. Mm, the pipes in the actual power plants were set up to be... Yeah, only upgrade this pipe. Because the pipes in the, the power plants are set up in a way that they are only carrying what they need to carry. Okay. So the water for the power plant is assured. And now we have a much clearer patch of land to work with. So what should we start with? Copper, steel or iron? I think I will start with the copper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, should we wait a little bit? Yeah, we are almost backing up on the tier 3 construction part. No, I think we should be okay. We only need tier 2 construction parts for the casters, so I think it's going to be alright. So, I will set all this to be demolished, including the sorting plant. I will quick deliver as much of it as possible and that leaves the storages. The storages I will leave alone for now because I would like to have these ready to accept their outputs. So how do we want to do this? I want to make sure that we will place these in a way that allows the most amount of expansion and maybe we should have the storage, uh, the output storage closer to the actual center of the production area. Let's flip it so the sorter is closer to the coal, uh, copper mine. And yeah, I think this will be a pretty decent place for it. No, wait. This way, yeah. Almost messed up. So the sorters will be here, the output storage is a little bit closer to the assemblers. But now the storages are in the way. Yeah, I think I will place it... Okay, I copied it so it is alright. Yeah, I will get rid of these guys after all. This one as well, including the acid. Yeah, it's a little bit of a waste, but I think it's going to be alright. And quick deliver. Okay, stop. Copy this one, so flip it. No, flip it again. That's it. So I will I think I will place it here. Yeah, I think this will be just fine. If we have to, we can expand this, uh, the, the smarting stacks this way. So I think that will be just fine. And don't forget, we had four stacks of copper smarting in the last setup. So let's make sure that we keep that up. So they should go right here. Yes. All we have to do is hook things together and we will be ready to build this place. Okay, this one goes into this one. And I believe that is it. 
so one last double check this one is dealing with the copper of course feeding into the crusher doing crush copper this one feeds into this one this is a slag emptied out full 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 copper uh, scrap yes the slag is being fed this way that is correct this one is fine as well yeah i think this is pretty much ready for construction so how much of it can we build in one go oh, pretty much half of it and that is yeah it's all down to unity not the construction part so i am relieved also please don't accept truck inputs or outputs for the testers please out for the electrolyzers there we go same goes for these guys don't accept inputs or outputs thank you yeah even for the furnaces thank you and that is it so let's make sure that the mining tower can only export to these guys okay the trucks will bring in the access from the shipyard and that should be all right this one will be for the refined copper empty all the time please okay unity can we build maybe the belt most of it there we go some of the other infrastructure yes the pipes and the other belts i want to make sure that the important stuff is taken care of before anything else yes anything else this one these belts okay and now we can pretty much unpause the rest okay the trucks should be able to take care of it because we have enough construction parts so yeah in the future we should be able to extend this uh, smarting stacks this way sooner or later this mountain will pretty much go away so it's not going to be in the way okay basically we don't need this uh upper blueprint anymore you can go away thank you for your service how is the shipyard by the way it is full of stuff impure copper mm, yeah i think i will set up a small feeding mechanism here so we can empty out the impure copper the pure copper will be taken to the asunder sooner or later so it's going to be fine so yeah a small unit storage will be fine feeding into this one unity quick build and fill it up with the impure copper from the shipyard and that's going to be all right so they will be fed into the system and once it is done the shipyard will be fine so as i have said the in the pure copper will be fed back into the assembler sooner or later as for the copper ore hmm um, I will accept truck inputs for this one. Hopefully that will allow the trucks to move it in from the shipyard. They should be able to do it. Anyways, at this point they are extremely busy because they have all this to fill up. But once they are done, we will be in a better place. Now, should we move the mining tower because it is in the way of the other smelting operations? Yeah, I think I will move it right into the mouth of the upper mine. So, can you please move hmm, right here? I think that will be alright. Yeah. Quick build. Demolish. Quick deliver. Thank you. Let's just add back the ex uh, excavator copper ore, please. 
Yeah, they have the trucks. Also, just to get rid of this truck, I will allow uh, outside connection, uh, outside deliveries. And now we can turn it off again. Okay, what's next? There are some mining designations outside mining tower areas. Oh, right. I need to tell this one to use the open area. Uh, let's go for this one. Also, we are getting close to punching through the mountain. So if you don't mind, I will set up a little bit more mining designations. Something like this should be alright. Let's not get too carried away. This will be okay. No available designations to be mined. Oh, we have the channel dugout in the iron mine. For now, I will... Yeah, I will designate mining out the pure iron squares. That will keep the excavators that are set to mine out only iron busy. And on the surface, I will tell the others to keep leveling down the area. So if you don't mind, can you guys please do mining up here as well? This is purely mining designation, so they shouldn't interfere with each other. There we go. As far as I can tell, this should be okay. So yeah, mining designations shouldn't interfere with each other when it comes to level differences. Okay, I encroached on the pit a little bit. Let me just put this back here. Okay, so the ones dedicated to uh, digging up iron are down here, yes, and the others are up here leveling down the terrain. Perfect. Okay, designations outside mining area. Is it this one? No. Where do we have mining designations outside mining areas? It's not here either. Did I leave something here? Hmm. I really wish I could click on... Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought that it was the... That there was some mining designations outside mining areas. It's not that. Okay, so this one is done. I will take off this dumping designation and put back these digging designations. Basically... It will create a little bit of a dip at the very edge of the ramp, but it will leave enough space for vehicles to go through, so it should be alright. Okay. Now is this channel... It is done. So, these walls are ready to be demolished. Just like this. Can you guys please go back in storage? Okay, now trucks have a way through here as well. That is great. Okay, I will leave it as it is for now. I will come back to this place once we have this mountain leveled down, I think. Okay, so this one is now done. That means these guys can go about their business. I think I will set, send this guy to this tower. Yeah, so we can finish up this area a little bit faster. After this place is done, I will move it and mine out the mountain a little bit more. Okay, I think things are more or less okay. So, we can do the next smelting area. 
I think I will do the steel next. As long as we have the construction parts and I think we do. Also, I just noticed on the outliner that we don't have the different vehicle parts pinned. And now we do. So um, it will be a little bit weird that we have the vehicle parts one and two here and the vehicle parts three up here. But that's what we get. So anyways, I think we are ready for the steel smelting next. Yeah, so let me just check. We might want to do a little bit of leveling here. Yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. One of you guys, please go into the copper mine as a dirt digger. So let me see. This guy is going there. Can you please, please focus on dirt? And also, this one is the same. All right. So once this place is more or less leveled down, I will put in the steel smelting. Yeah, okay. Let's ch check out the outliner. I think our resources look more or less all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. How's the ship? It is ready to go out. I think I will send it. Yeah, 400 difficulty. It, we should be able to take care of it. Well, since we have so much construction parts, should we build a town decoration? Let's see. Yeah, it's only tier one. And we have plenty of concrete. Yeah, I think I will do it. So what is the difference between these housing districts? It's 70 and this one is 130. If we upgrade two of these, they should be able to accept the people from this district if we demolish it. Yeah, let's do it. So upgrade, upgrade, quick build. Once these are done, I will demolish this one. And done. So you guys can please move over to the new districts. And we are 10 people short. Yeah, let's just upgrade one more district and that will be fine. So shipping battle, we have one with minimal damage. And we have a new settlement. Okay, let's check that out next. 470 and 470. I think we should be able to deal with these guys as well. Maybe I will go this way instead in the next sortie. So anyways, this place is finished. What should we build? We have a square with column, a light square and a dark square. I think I will go for a light square. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't remember if I did this in the previous series. This might be the first time that we do this. So let's just see what we have with this. There we go. A nice little square. And... Let's see. That's it. Okay. Now, I think I, yeah, the unity is fluctuating and that is because I think the household goods, no, that is actually full. Hmm. Why was it fluctuating before? How's the water? 
Ah, it's the water. Okay. Uh, why is that? We have enough water in the storage. And we have a throughput of 200 on the pipes. So we should have enough water in the town because we are only consuming 164. You know what? I will go ahead and upgrade the pipes just in case. Oh, right. Because it is get it gets uh, split in half and some of it goes towards the incinerator. So yeah, upgrading the pipes might be able to fix it. There we go. So now, let's see. Yeah, we are back in business. Okay. Power is of course... We only need one transformer, so it's fine. So yeah, the town should be back in business. Ship was fully repaired, thank you. We will send it out to the... What is this, by the way? Uranium mine, okay. That might be important in the future. Okay, what's next? Yeah, if you can see, the refinery is perfectly okay at this point. We have plenty of diesel, plenty of hydrogen, the crude oil storages are full, the ship is unloading, more or less equally. The only problem is that uh, we are still dealing with unequal unloading because we don't have the last two fluid modules. Once we have those, then the unloading will actually be equal. Okay, ship in battle shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we managed to do it without damage. And we have unlocked nuclear energy. Well. Okay. That unlocks this. I don't want to do this at this very moment. So, yeah, let's just put it at the, at the end of the queue and we will get to it soon enough. It is a little bit uh, complicated to say the least. Anyways, how is this leveling doing? It is progressing more or less on schedule. How is the copper, by the way? It is doing quite well. So just temporarily, I will tell this guy to focus on dirt as well. If we have a problem in here, let me just name it copper. Uh, let me see. Crushed copper storage. Yes. If this one gets below 75%, Please let me know. I just want to make sure that this place is leveled down so we can put in the steel smelting next. Basically, once they are through with the dirt, they will basically do copper mining anyway, so it should be alright. Okay, in terms of food, mm, we are still struggling a little bit. How are these guys? So we do have enough animal feed, all things considered. And do we have any corn in the town? No. Well, that was to be expected. But it seems we are actually dealing well with just potatoes for the moment. Also, let me just see what happens if we run out of corn. Hmm, it doesn't say. Oh well. I know that we actually consume 
uh, fewer overall food tonnage if we supply more than one food in one food type. So anyways, this is all right. What can we do next? I suppose we are waiting for this to finish. Technically, we don't need this to be leveled down. If you place anything over it, it will actually go away. But, you know, I would feel better if we did it properly. Yeah, they are still focusing on dirt. What if I move you out here? But technically, it's not actually dirt, it's actually just stone. But there we go. It is actually getting rid of it. Okay, I think at this point, mm, just get rid of this for me and I will be happy. Can you do it for me? Just dig this one up and... Okay. Focus on rock instead. Okay, this one is going the right way. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. Exactly what I want you to do. Perfect. And there we go. Okay, you guys can go back to digging up copper. Thank you very much. So, steel. Steel is this one, I believe. No, that's iron. This is the steel. Copy paste. Line it up with the copper. Uh, flip. No. Yeah, flip it this way. So, I will put it here, I think. Yeah, just like this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's double check in the end. So, yes, iron on the correct port. Feeding into this one, doing crushed iron. These storages are... Okay, yes. I think at this point I will double up on the actual production capacity. So we can do this. Let's make sure these two are hooked together and that should be pretty much it. Yeah, let me just take care of these belts and we are in business. This one has to go this way. Anything else? Yeah, I think we are pretty much all right. Steel kept empty. Mm -hmm, yeah. I think we are ready to build this one. So can we do it in one go? Nope. It is... I think it was the construction part, actually. Not the unity this time. But we should have some left on the belts, so... It should be alright pretty soon. Yeah, these belts are done. Every other infrastructure is done, I think. Build these. Unpause and prioritize this one. And the... Uh, wait. Unpause, I said. Thank you. And the rest will simply be unpaused. And that will be it. Mm -hmm. Okay, at this point... The old steel mill can go away. This one, demolish, please. Thank you. I will quick deliver these, so 
we should be able to cram everything into the new storages. Perfect. Empty, empty. Yeah, the water can be dumped out. We have plenty of water, I don't mind. And quick deliver. Okay. That should give us enough construction parts to finish this place. Perfect. Now, it's not only in the final position, but they are actually doing the double amount of output. So, still should be in a much better place at this point. Anything else? Oh, right, we should actually tell the iron mine to consider these as a viable destination. So this one and this one, please, thank you. Yes. Uh, don't accept truck input. You will only do the sorting, please. Okay, it should be alright at this point, I think. Okay, how is the shipyard? Because I bet it's full of fluff. Well, copper ore is emptying out. Limestone. I think it will be moved away sooner or later. Yeah, it's going to be alright. And we are still struggling with the chicken feed. But the farms... Yeah, the farms themselves have enough food. So we are, I think, at an equilibrium at this point. I think that pretty much means that... Let me just see... Fertilizer full... Fertilizer full... Ah, huh, fertilizer empty. But the fertility is close to the target. So... We are basically using, let me see what about these guys, of course empty, but fertility is still above because, you know, we are splitting the fertilizer output. You know, maybe it's time to actually build a more permanent fertilizer manufacturing setup. I don't think we are going to have any more mines, uh, sorry, farms going this way, so I think we can set up the fertilizer on this side. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have one fertilizer factory here and another one here if we have to build another one. By the way, how far are we from the tier 2 chemical plants? Uh, chemical plant... So the, of course the first one is researched. Biodiesel... wait. Oh, we have two unlock positions for the tier 1 chemical plants. And the tier 2 is ninth in the queue. Yeah, stop with everything else. Where is the... there we go. Stop everything else. Focus on chemical plants, please. Maybe greenhouse tools nuclear reactors, and then whatever we have. Yeah. Also, I think I have been seeing that we are stuck on research. Why is that? It is because of paper. Oh, right. All the wood goes towards the construction parts. Do we have extra wood? I mean saplings. I think we do. So I think we are going to be okay on saplings. But we are not okay on the amount of forestry areas, I think. No, we are okay on forestry area. We are lacking saplings because this area is not planted. I don't really want to haul any fertilizers this way because it's very far away from the other farms. Can we squeeze in another farm? Yes, I think we can. 
so I think I will do this. Yeah, this should be alright. In fact, I think I will demolish these guys. Why can't... There we go. I will demolish these guys. Remove this water storage. And we are going to go ahead and build them facing each other, basically. Not pose. There we go. So we are going to have these farms facing each other. Uh, yeah, go for greenhouse right away. And I want the water inputs in the same position, basically. So yeah, we are going to have this one here and the other one right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, and just to make sure that we don't uh, impede the amount of land for the three farms, I will put the water storage here. Mm, small one, you know what, tier two, just in case. Yeah, so tier two water storage goes right here. Let's make sure we have the throughput. Yeah, tier three pipes will be fine. You feed into this, please. Quick build, quick build. You full of water, please. Thank you. And we should be able to... Yes, we can build them both. That's fine. If I ever decide to move some fertilizers here, we can feed them right here. Anyways, you guys please focus on giving us three saplings. And that is it. And if I remember correctly, before upgrading the three farms, we actually had three point something of an output for saplings. So yeah, upgrading to the greenhouse actually increased the output as expected because it did the same for the other crops. So no surprises there. Yeah, the steel is perfectly okay at this point. Copper is fine as well. I think you know what that means. I think it's time to do the iron next. Also, not enough workers. Hmm. Why would... Oh, right. Farms require quite a bit of workforce. Well... I suppose we can upgrade this last district. Unity quick build, please. In the future, I think I will level out this terrain and expand the town into this little area that we have used for the coal mine previously. That will require us to move the food services, but I think it's going to be all right. Anyways, we don't need these designations anymore. In fact, I will move this, this designation, the, this tower's designation to this place, I think. Yeah, let's focus on this coastal area. I would like to get rid of this mountain next. So, mining designation goes from here, I think. And I will go out this far. Once this one is done, I will build in the retaining walls and then we will deal with the rest. Mm -hmm. Of course, we don't have the excavator at the moment. Oh, wait, we do. Okay, never mind. So, this guy will get to work. Once it's done, we will build in the retaining walls and that will be just great. Anyways, the recording is at 1 hour and 4 minutes at this point. So I think I will call it right here. So let's see, outside mining areas. Where could that be? Where is this mining area coming from? Is this one? 
Yes, okay, so we don't need this. Oh, wait. This tower was actually dealing with this place. That's why we have the complaint. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I will get rid of these for now. We will come back to this mountain at a later date. In fact... Yeah, you know what? I will delete this tower. It's in the way of the town expansion anyway, so it will have to go away sooner or later. Okay, so... I think we can call the episode right here. The refinery is looking pretty much as healthy as it can be. In fact, if you don't mind, I will upgrade the hydrogen storages just for good measure. The iron mine is looking more or less fine. Anything else we need to worry about, I will do the iron smelting in the next episode. Yeah, so... I think all that is left to say is that thank you for watching. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. If you would like to support me a little bit more, you can do so by clicking the join button and becoming a channel member, which will give you a one week and ad free early access to these videos. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you very much for your support. I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.